making spaghetti squash. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, spaghetti squash. Earlier, I chopped it up without videotaping it, so I'm just trying to put it back together so I'll show you how to cut it, because it's not that easy to cut this thing. However, we are making this a little bit Indian style. It's gonna be very simple and very healthy. And this is gonna be calling, we're gonna be calling this Vagareli spaghetti squash. Vagareli means, in Indian language, saute. All right, so first thing first, we're gonna cut it. Be really careful, get a sharp knife, a good cutting board, and a solid, stable table, okay? In order to cut this thing, you need to be very careful because it's so hard that you might use too much force and you could end up cutting your fingers. So the way I normally do it is I'll, because this is like a bulging thing, so it will like roll on back and forth. So first of all, you wanna stabilize this. The way you stabilize this is by taking a side off a little bit. All right, you take this out and then you put it on this side. Now, it wouldn't roll. Notice that? It wouldn't roll. Now what you can do is you can just take your knife, as I have here, here before, and you just chop this side off, okay? And you just chop this side off, okay? When you cut it, go like this type of motion, okay? Because this is very hard. Once that is done, you put it back upside, upside like this, and you take your knife, and you just go right down in the middle, all the way down, basically, like this, all right? So now we have our chopped spaghetti squash. Be very careful, you could hurt yourself. Is that right, man? Uh -huh. Is that right? All right, so next step in the process, earlier I was just going to start cooking it, and my wife stopped me, she was like, no, you gotta bake it first, otherwise it won't be spaghetti, because you notice, there are no spaghettis here. So first thing first, we gotta clean this up. We're gonna get a, a grocery bag. Usually speaking, like I said, you know, when you cook, I want you to learn the techniques of cooking too because the less mess you make, the less you have to clean it up and more time you have to enjoy the food you make, all right? So we're gonna keep a small garbage bag like this on the side while we are doing this cleanup. I'm gonna grab a nice fork and I'm gonna just go at it. I'm gonna go ahead and take out all this stuff you see. Just take it out and we're just gonna clean this bag. Okay, okay. Alright, get all these meals out. Meals, meals. Seats, that's what it means. Make the top. Let me go in here. Okay, clean it up. I just feel that. Mm, interesting. You can't use my one of these, don't you? Because you need something to ask this out. You already cooked, Russia. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean this bad boy up. We don't need these two things for now. Put it back here. We can get back to cleaning in them. Okay, right over here. Now I'm gonna go take this bad boy. Voila! Woohoo! And put it right here. Clean. Alright. It's all cleaned up. Now in preparation of that, we're gonna go ahead and take this two bad boy here. I'm gonna pull out my pepper, salt and pepper, because we're gonna season it a little bit. Here's what we're gonna do. First of all, I'm gonna pour some olive oil in this tray for which I'm gonna bake it in. Okay, it, does, it serves two purposes. It allows me to take the oil and nicely brush it in. You wanna take a closer look at this or something? All right, thank you buddy. All right. You notice I don't want I don't need to waste extra plate because I'm gonna need to oil this pan anyway as I'm gonna put this in baking. So this way I can minimize the amount of trays I'm gonna use. Again, it's all a matter of techniques because you don't wanna make too much mess. You want as much time as possible to enjoy the food that you make. Alright, not necessarily cleaning, unless you have a cleaning person like I have here 
to do your work. I'm just kidding, Rashad. <laughs> okay, so today's new word, you know, is regali. Regali means saute. And for spaghetti squash, I don't know if there's a new word for that or not. I have no idea. So rest of you all, I'm just gonna go ahead and spread this out. And again, this is all yours, so it's fairly healthy, you know. If I had to choose any of you all to eat my food in, it would be this. It would be olive oil all the way. Alright, so now it's nice and brushed. And then a couple of things here. I'm gonna take some uh, very nice sea salt. And we're just gonna go ahead and crack it on top of this a little bit. Just to season it. Not to go too crazy. Just to season it. Because we're gonna add salt later on too. This will just help with the process. Alright, we're gonna add some crushed red pepper on the top of it. Alright, as you can see, Rashad, get a little closer look on that. This is just another technique. I want to smoke this a little bit, right? The way I'm going to smoke this with some jalapeno peppers is I want the flavor of the jalapeno pepper in the baking process because I'm going to cut this in half. All right, and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to place it here. I'm going to place, you know, is that jalapeno pepper here? I'm going to place the spaghetti squash on top of it. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Put the spaghetti squash on top of it. Take the sticker out. Wait, you didn't remind me to take the sticker I out. I did. Did you? Yeah. Okay. Well, this is it. It's ready to go. We have oven uh, preheated at about 405 degrees. I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna put it in a middle rack for 45 minutes. All right, so we're gonna put this in for 45 minutes. I'm gonna turn the timer on for 45 minutes. And there we go. So now we're gonna do one more thing while this is happening. We're gonna prep a couple of things. The prep requires cleanup, obviously, of course. We're gonna clean this up a little bit. Very simple. Okay, I'm gonna get one more jalapeno out of my thing. Excuse me. Uh, where do we put them? Oh, there we go. Alright, so your jalapeno, and we got some cilantro. Alright, simple ingredient, simple food. Alright. Take jalapeno. And some cilantro. I'm gonna quickly wash it up. Not too much, a few buds are perfect of cilantro. And we're gonna go ahead and rinse it off nice and clean. There we go. All right, so a couple of things about cilantro. All right, cilantro has long stems, right? You do want to use some, but not all of it. So what I will do, I'll take the bottom one, pinch it with the nail, and take it off, all right? So you can do like a couple of stems like this, you know, pinch it off, take it yeah. off, you put can it in here, it, yeah. all right? You won't just move it on the side, sweetie. Uh, just clean it up a little bit. Because we're dealing with spaghetti squash, we want to cut them in a way that it, it, it looks like uh, it mixes it with the filet squash. So we're going to cut them julienne style, as they call it. Okay, so we're going to cut them in half. Okay, take a closer, please. And then what we do is we take this particular item and we just slice them out like this. I'm keeping the seeds and everything because it adds really good flavor to it. You know, if you want to tone down the heat a little bit, you can just want to take some of the seeds out. Okay, so here's your pepper. And then the same thing here. Cut them up. Long, long slices here. Okay, and this will add a really good flavor to it. Believe me or not, it's just. Don't be afraid Cut a lime, uh, you need to roll it out. Come on, come on take a, you know, like, you know, some screen time here, Rashna. You need to roll this out a little bit, right? And when you roll it out, what happens is juices in the lime are loosened up. Well, my little, right? And in preparation for that, I'm just gonna cut it, all right? Now, a few things we're gonna need uh, while we are 
taken care of this, I'm gonna put this cilantro back in the fridge. That's not if you wanna follow me. You should follow me. Your cameras used to follow me. No. Why is it not follow? Oh, a lot. <laughs> what am I over there? You didn't follow me, man. So we have some pepper. We have some sea salt. We have some crushed pepper, uh, uh, black pepper. What I want to show you is few ingredients that we're gonna need. And again, I know I have shown you in my last uh, episode. This is called lacardio. This is something really cool thing you can invest for yourself if you are uh, cooking shabby like me. Uh, this is called lacardio in the Indian culture, and it's basically a little container of all your little spices. Look at this, it's beautiful, right? You have turmeric, you have red crushed pepper, you have uh, uh, cumin uh, powder over here, you have mustard seeds, which we're gonna be using this for today's recipe. All right, that's various of the other things that uh, mainly commonly use in Indian culture. So today we're gonna use mustard seeds and we're gonna use turmeric powder in our recipe. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that a little bit. All right, we have salt, we have crushed pepper, we have lime, and one last thing we're gonna need is sugar. Yeah, All right, please. that's what we're gonna need. So while uh, this is baking, I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up a little bit, and then we're gonna come back and start the rest of the process. So behind the back. All right, ready? All right, this is hot. It's done. 45 minutes has been gone through, and we're gonna take a look at this bad boy. It looks beautiful. Look at that. All right. We're going to place it right here on a hot rack away from kids and everybody else. It's hot. Let it sit there for about 10 15 minutes so it cools off, and then we're going to spaghetti them out. <laughs> or, I know most of you guys think what happened to my shades. Well, they went in my car, so I went and got them. Anyways, take a look at this. So we have our spaghetti squash ready and baked. All right. Take a look at this a little bit here on the bottom. Ooh, look at that! Look at that! Look at that! That's just beautiful, Marcia. That's just absolutely beautiful. Look at that! Look at that! All right. So normally I let it cool down a little bit, so which is good, but uh, it's still a little warm to touch. So what I do, I just fold up uh, two napkins like this, you know, and I kind of hold it up with this, so that way I don't feel the sting. Okay. I have some fork my shoulders this has this is really important part of the recipe Rushna your finger is on the camera no it's not yes it is it was hiding the, it was take it off it's not yes it is it's covering the flash no what anyways we need we need, oh, we need late lessons on uh, how to shoot a video but that's a separate story so a fork from your arm Ben all right fold it up and pull the spaghetti squash. Oh, MG, it's beautiful. Ooh. It's very simple, no energy required. Just pull them up. See that? It's not so good. Yeah, it's in me, in me, in me, in me. So, you just pull them up like that. It's just so simple. I mean, this is like magic. Look at this. It's just falling off from the skin. Very simple. Pull that out. Pull all of it out. Alright, pull all of it out. Take this out a little bit. It's just a little bit chunky. And now, you have spaghetti squash. Seriously, this is uh, really cool stuff. Alright, so we're just gonna clean it up a little bit more. Make sure nothing goes to waste. the whole thing because she wants to do something else with it well we're gonna take this away from here which is no longer needed and we're gonna go ahead and put that in the garbage okay this is all and go in the garbage again you put hot stuff to, in a plastic bag yeah, it's not hot i'm holding it again cleaning is very important as you go through so you can enjoy your food and you make it all right now time for some sauteing. Remember, everything is cooked already, so spaghetti squash does not need to be cooked. All we're doing is adding flavor to that. 
All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some olive oil, put it in a pan, nice little pan. Just put it in the pan, okay? Yeah, and turn the gas on. All right, all right, let it uh, heat up a little bit. Usually you wanna keep the handle anytime. Most of the people I see, their, their handles are here, and next thing you know is exit, right? So what do you wanna do is you wanna handle facing to the wall, okay? That's a one good technique to learn and have. Also, for cooking the spaghetti squash, you want something that doesn't break up your spaghetti because you don't want mush or mashed spaghetti squash. You want a nice and stringy one. So get, uh, get something uh, that you can use uh, to flip it and not break it at the same time. So as this is heating up, we're gonna go ahead and take our masala, masala gumbo. Remember, this is called lakariya. We talked about that earlier. From this lakariu, we're gonna go ahead, yes, one spoon rules them all, all right? One spoon rules them all. So as this oil is heating up, it's nice and, uh, again, olive oil, you can add it according to your taste, you know? I usually do a little bit on a extra side, give or take. So as I come closer here, I, wanna, I want people to see as to how, so these are called mustard seeds, okay? These are actual mustard seeds, not honey mustard, not the mustard you eat. They actually derive from the mustard seeds, okay? You can find this in an Indian grocery shop or specialty shops. Very simple and easy to find, okay? I'm sure Amazon has it too. So you take a handful of mustard seeds and put them in the oil, like this. All right, decent amount. Take a look at this. Perfect, okay? What do you want this must, what, what's gonna happen with this mustard seeds? They're gonna pop. You're gonna pop like popcorn, okay? You don't want them to pop too much, but you definitely wanna hear that pop. You're gonna hear that in a minute. In the meantime, I'm gonna bring over my other ingredients. Then I wanna go ahead and add this in. All right, and this is very simple. So it's gonna start popping up in a minute. Give it a few seconds. You're gonna get it. Not too close, woman. Not too close. The closer you get, the hotter it's gonna get. <laughs> There you go. It's popping. Now we're popping. You hear that? All right. Turn it down to medium. Your stove. All right. Let it pop a little bit. We're gonna take our jalapenos and throw them in there. All right. I like decent amount. All right. Again, you do not have to put all this much jalapeno. Okay. This is just me. Uh, that's because I'm Indian. Alrighty, uh, mix it up a little bit, nice and easy. Alright, again, this stuff has to be medium here. Alright, you don't want to overcook this bad boy either. But you just want to have a little bit of uh, flavor around it. And as you let this mustard seeds pop and oil and the pepper and all this infusion, you want to let it happen. Alright, now let it sit here for like about a minute, minute and a half, give or take stir it here and there, all right? In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take a look at how much I wanna take out. I say I'll do a decent amount, so here I'm gonna separate that out a little bit. You can use the whole thing, but I've been told by my wife that I can't use the whole thing. I had to leave some for her, and I'm leaving some for her, okay? So there it is, Roshan. Which one is mine? The, the smaller one is yours. What? That's the one what? what? Roshan, you're experimenting something uh, and I'm giving you some. Here, I give you a few more strands. Okay? All right. This smells fabulous. Okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the heat down. I wanna turn the heat down all the way. Low. Very, very low. Low. Okay? And now I'm gonna go ahead and put this in like a strings, like here. You see this? Not, I'm not just dumping it in. I'm gonna put them in little by little. Okay? Because you don't want to dump it in because if you dump it in it's gonna get lumpy okay just for like like you're shredding it in you can shred a chicken or something all right so now we have that in okay I wish you guys had smell the vision like I said make sure it's keep it low we're gonna take some masala all right we're gonna go ahead and take some uh, tamarind powder right turmeric turmeric powder I don't know I'm, I'm not good at English all right put that in there Okay, that's all you need on that one. I'm gonna get some salt, all right. 
according to your taste, you put some salt in there. Okay. So a little bit more. You want to have a little bit of flavor in there. Okay. Again, you can always put less salt and add more later. If you more now, then you can't take it off. Remember that. That's a simple rule you gotta follow. All right. Next, we're gonna do is we're gonna take some lime. All right. We're gonna take a half a lime right now. I don't want the whole thing. I don't know how much citrus I'm gonna need here. All right. So I'm gonna put a half a lime in there. Okay. And then I'm gonna take some sugar. Sugar. Now sugar is not to make it sweet, but to balance off the acidity that we just added to it. Okay, so we're gonna sprinkle about a half a spoon of sugar here. Okay, and just to balance off the acidity. Now, again, the key is not to stir this thing too much, just as you need it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and fold this in, in a way that it incorporates all the flavors that we're looking to have it added to that. Okay. So just start it in gently. You don't want to make a mush out of this. Okay, so now we have all this cover. Right, a key to a good tasting food is to actually taste it before you serve it. Remember that. You don't taste it, then you don't know what you're missing. All right, again, recipes are great. You know, it gives you all the guidance, how much, how much, how much, how much. You know what, I, I'm much more deliver of the touch, so called, and that's where the greatest recipe lies. All right, so I mix it up pretty well, I believe I have. So what I'm gonna do is keep it in my face. I'm gonna go ahead and press uh, out my fork. We're gonna take a little bit of that and we're gonna see how we did. It needs a small amount of acidity and uh, just a little bit more salt. Everything else is a okay. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, squeeze some of the lime in there. Okay. Not too much, just a small amount as I mentioned. Okay? And a little bit more salt. Because you don't want to stir it any more than twice. If you do, then you're breaking apart the fat for those fibers. There's a crucial to the texture of this thing, you know? So now we have this mixed up. Take a look at this. Okay, you're gonna mix it up a little bit. So when you mix it, don't try to push it down, just try to like roll it around a little bit, you know? And fork, a new fork. Don't use the same fork. Leave that over there. Okay, take it out. I'm gonna try this bad boy now. And there is all syrup. There is all syrup. All right, we're gonna do some plating really quick. So now we have our bowl here. All right. Can you pause that for a second? I got a plating. I have this beautiful little bowl. All right. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this back over here. All right, and we're gonna start it using this guy. What is it called, Russian English? What is it called? Tong, Huang. All right, so we're gonna take this a little bit and you put it right in the center. Okay, right in the center, like this. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start rotating the ball a little bit. Okay, take this. So rotating the ball a little bit as you go along. Okay, take that a little bit. Push it out. Nice little pepper over here. Put it down the top. Put it here. All right, earlier we chopped up some cilantro. We're gonna go ahead and uh, top it off with some cilantro, right here. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and remove this from here. We're gonna go ahead and get a fork, two forks, because food is always better when you share with somebody. And I'm gonna go ahead and share this with my beloved wife, Roshna here. And ladies and gentlemen, I present you Wakarali Spaghetti Squash. Voila. Please continue to check out my 
channel, uh, please subscribe as you will see more and more recipe coming through. Soon I'll be also posting some mixology drinks uh, where I'm focused more on a botany than just mixing drinks for itself. So stay tuned. Thank you very much for watching.